This is part three of our three-part series. What we're now going to do is write a Boolean expression for this circuit. First, let's label these, these switches. This is A, this switch is B, and this switch is C. Now let's go over to this AND gate, this one right here, right there. And let's label this output number one. What is number one equal to? Number one is equal to uh, A, and it's ANDed with B. That's all we have so far. A ended with B for this output. Oh, that's good. Um, let's see. Let's trace this down to here. And what do we have? We have C input here. And we have A input here. C is coming in here. So what would the output here be the two would be at this spot so let's figure that one out and this is an nor gate not an an or so this is a nor gate we'll call this point here point number two point number two is a little bit crowded and we know that c and a is nord together so let's write that down here so number two is going to be, what was that? C is ORed with A. But wait a minute, there's a, that, that's not really true. That, it's knotted right over here. So let me put a an exclamation there. This means you're nodding C or A. Let's go back, back up there, take a look. That was A was here and C was here. So it was A or C not. And that's at number two. Number two equals A or C not. So that's the output for th these two guys. I got number one and number two. How about here? This would be three. That doesn't look easy. But, oh yes, it does look easy. I'm just going to take all of this output, all of this, which is number two, and not it. That's all I'm doing here. So three should be pretty easy. Three will be, number three will be all of the above, which is not C or A, and what am I doing? I'm going to knot it again, invert it again. That's all I'm doing there at number three. Okay. And then, what am I doing here at, uh, well, let's get this guy up here now. Um, I've got an input over here, A and B, and I've got number three here. i got number one. A or A and B. Oh, hold on. Maybe this could be easy. Let's write number one over here. Number one is equal to A and B. That's what we've got. Now, this fella here is going to be number one ended with number three. And we'll call this number four. Number four equals one ended with three. Okay, let's go down here and do that. So number four equals one ended with three. So that would be A and B ended with number three, which is not not C or A. And the one, two, three parentheses, one, two, three parentheses, that's number four. <laughs> wow, that was cool. And 
Now let's go over here. Now, what do I have here? This spot. This is an XOR gate. What's coming in on this end? Uh, B. So let me write that down. B is coming in on this end. What's coming in on this end? Number two. So I'm XORing B with number two. That gives me five right here. So output five is equal to two XORed with B. Okay, let's go write that. Number five is equal to two XORed with B. XORed with B. So there's our two which is not C plus A, not C plus A. There's our two. And it's XORed with what? With B. There's our output five. And now, what do I have? I've got two inputs here, four and five being ended together. So this is four ended with five as my final output. My final Boolean expression is four ended with five. Okay. Wow, that could be a mouthful here. So this guy ended with this guy. Let's see if we can do that. Um, output equals uh, four ended with five. Four ended with five is our output. So let's do it. Uh, A and B and not, not C or A to three, and it's going to be anded with number five, which is not C or A XORed with B. And this is our final Boolean expression. Eh, yeah, not bad. So there's our guy, our final output our Boolean expression for this circuit. Amazing. Amazing. Well, seems to me like we're done now. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for listening, and so long from Hoboken Gear.